We often refer to the slope of a line as the rise over the run, and the question is, is the run always to the right? And the answer is, it's often to the right because the slope is written as a fraction with a positive denominator. However, the run would be to the left if the denominator was negative, and in some cases, it's helpful to write the slope with a negative denominator. Let's first take a look at a typical example. We're asked to graph each line given a point on the line and the slope. Number one, the point is negative two comma one from the origin. To plot the point, we move left two units and then up one unit. And we're given the slope is equal to negative two thirds, which we often write as negative two over positive three to keep track of the negative sign where the negative two represents the rise or change of y, and the positive three indicates the run or change in x. So from the point we just plotted, because the rise or change of y is negative two, we would go down two units. And then because the run or change of x is positive three, we would move right three units. This is a location of another point on the line. If we went to, we can do this multiple times, down to right three, down to right three. Now let's just say we wanted to find points to the left of the point at negative two comma one. To do this, we can change the form of the slope. Negative two divided by positive three is equivalent to positive two divided by negative three. Notice in this form, the rise or change of y is positive two, and the run or change of x is negative three, which means from the point negative two comma one, we would go up two units, and then left three units. So notice here, the run is not right, it's left. Now it wasn't necessary here because we had plenty of points to graph the line, since it only takes two points to graph a line. This is the line passing through the point in negative two comma one with a slope of negative two thirds. So this is a typical example, but now let's take a look at some special cases. For number two, we have the point two comma negative six from the origin. To plot the point, we move right two units and then down six units. The slope is negative three fourths, which we typically write as negative three over positive four where the rise or change of y is negative three, and the run or change of x is positive four. Notice in this form though, if we go back to the point two comma negative six, if we go down three units because the rise or change of y is negative three, we're off the given coordinate plane, and therefore we can't use a slope in this form. But just like number one, we can change the form of the slope so that it's more useful. Negative three divided by positive four is equivalent to positive three divided by negative four, in this form, the rise or change of y is positive three, and the run or change of x is negative four. Which means instead of going down three and right four, we can go up three and left four. The rise or change of y is positive three, and the run or change of x is negative four. Notice this does give us a point that is convenient for the given coordinate plane. And of course, we can repeat the process, up three and left four. This is the line passing through the point two comma negative six with a slope of negative three fourths. So notice in this problem, it was necessary to have the run be to the left or to write the slope with a negative denominator. And for the last example, we have the point four comma five. From the origin, we move right four and then up five. The slope is positive four, which we typically write as positive four over positive one, where the rise or change of y is positive four, and the run or change of x is positive one. But again, notice how if we go up four units and then write one unit, we're off the given coordinate plane, and therefore the slope is not going to be helpful in this form. Positive four divided by positive one is equivalent to negative four divided by negative one. Remember, a negative divided by a negative is positive. In this form, the rise or change of y is negative four, and the run or change of x is negative one, which means from the point, we go down four units, because the rise or change of y is negative four, and left one unit, 
because the run or change of x is negative 1. And of course, we're going to repeat the process. Down 4, left 1, down 4, left 1. This is the line passing through 4 comma 5 with a slope of positive 4. So again, to revisit the question, the run is often to the right because you write the slope with a positive denominator, but in some cases, it's helpful to write the slope where the denominator is negative, and therefore the run would be to the left. I hope you found this helpful.